All right, Anthropic just released Claude Opus 4.5. I can't really keep up right now. All right, we had Grok, we had GPT 5.1, we had Gemini 3, and now we've got Claude Opus 4.5. I'm not really sure if they just line it all up or if they're all competing and they all just want to drop at the same time as everybody else, but everybody dropped in the past 10 days. So super excited to dig in and we'll just see if Opus 4.5 means anything to you compared to all the other models that just released. So we just come in here and we just look at some of the release notes that they're talking about. It says our newest model, Claude Opus 4.5 is available today. It's intelligent, efficient, the best model in the world for coding, agents and computer use. It's also meaningful, better at everyday tasks like deep research and working with slides and spreadsheets. Opus 4.5 is a step forward in what AI systems can do and a preview of larger changes to how work gets done. So obviously everybody's releasing these benchmarks and just shows, you know, it's, it's like they're literally waiting for GPT 5.0 one got released they released the benchmark gemini 3 released and then they released their benchmark now opus 4.5 and everybody likes to say that their benchmarks are better than the last model's benchmarks so uh whether or not these benchmarks actually mean anything it does look like opus 4.5 is scoring really high on the accuracy tests for the sweet bench and that may not mean anything to you Really what you want to do is you want to get in there and actually test it out to see if it feels like that to you. So Opus 4.5 is available today on the API. So most of the apps are going to have it. I know Lovable already released it. Cursor already released it. But if you just go to Claude.com, you should be able to test it out right there. Now here's everybody's first impressions, all right? Anthropic usually does a great job at this. They usually give access to certain people and certain partners so that they can test it out beforehand. So that way there's lots of great notes once they actually do release the model. So there's partners like Windsurf and GitHub that were able to test this out before we're actually releasing. Now, all the benchmarks are looking pretty good. So Opus 4.5 is definitely scoring pretty high comparatively to, you know, obviously Sonnet 4.5, Gemini 3, GPT 5.1. Now, obviously, I think Anthropic is some of the better models when it comes to coding. Gemini 3 really surprised a lot of people, but Anthropic has just led, you know, in general when it comes to coding. And so I'm pretty excited to see what Opus 4.5 does when it comes to coding. So I usually like to come into X and see what they're saying on X as well, because they usually have some cool release notes, which they had this video. Now here's another quick example. Uh, somebody's actually comparing this to the Gemini 3 Pro model. So they were using Gemini 3 model and the Claude Opus 4.5 model to generate the same 3D render of a bridge. And it's actually pretty cool. So this is the Gemini 3 model right here that's actually generating this 3D bridge. And then they're going to compare it to this bridge here that was created by Claude Opus 4.5. Honestly, I can't really tell you. It looks like he clicks the Gemini 3. And then this is what shows up. So I'm not quite sure which one's which because right here it looks like Gemini 3 is the highlighted one. So not 100% sure which one's which at this point but it's clear that one of them is better than the other. So at least we know that one of them is better than the other. Also, Lovable has a pretty good relationship with Anthropic. So most of the time when a new model comes out, they've already been testing it and they have first access with it. So uh, Claude Opus 4.5 is available in Lovable right now. So you can actually go in there and test it out. So we'll just dive right in here. If you just go to lovable.dev, this is one of my favorite tools for non-technicals trying to build something like a website or a little app or something like that. So I've just thrown together a quick prompt here with ChatGPT, build a mini web app called Founder Brain Upgrade. The app should have a clean, modern layout with a simple hero, light background, centered card UI. So very simple structure here. And I'm just going to press send on that. And then if you look in the bottom left and hover over chat, you can see that this is now powered by Claude Opus 4.5. So we'll be able to see that you know, kind of the differences compared to what was usually powering it was Claude Sonnet 4.5, which is the one tier down, which was their latest model before today. Now it wants to enable the cloud. Sure, we can do that. You know, this is where you can actually have a database and things like that. So I'm gonna click allow. Now with Lovable, it's pretty cool because you can have a built-in database. You can also add in an LLM to your app. So if you wanted to make like an AI chatbot or an AI feature into the app that you're building, you can do that instantly inside of Lovable. And then you can obviously grow and scale with it uh, because it's a full stack application now. It's not just front end design. All right, and this is what it put together. So, you know, a little bit of a clean user interface. Is it much better than other Claude Anthropic models? In my opinion, no, I think the Gemini 3 model is a little bit better. Now it's, you know, got that classic purple gradient that Anthropic all, always puts in with their Claude models. Um, but in general, yeah, I think that all of these models are getting better at design, better at coding with the first prompt extra 
actually being usable. Um, now this is gonna have a usable database built in. So you could actually start using this right away, create a user, things like that. Business model, biggest bottleneck, you know, weekly hours work, monthly revenue target, team size, additional notes. I don't even know what this app does. So this is very simple from what I gave it. So instead of a little mini app, I'm actually having it rebuild our website, just the UI front end kind of design. I just want to test out, you know, how it would actually look at the design and the details and things like that. Now, if you take a look at our current website, this is just a full custom website built with Next.js. So pretty straightforward, you know, clean, mostly white, light mode. And then this is what it came up with, which is not terrible. You know, I mean, it's got this design style with some images that it generated. Uh, Lovable is pretty cool now. They actually just released where you can generate AI images for the website directly inside of Lovable. So it did this without me asking for it. It just kind of came up with this image in the background. Now you're running into some little text issues here with the visibility, uh, but the overall, you know, it's okay. It's clean. It's pretty straightforward. It's got some little quirks that I would go in and fix, but in general, I would say it's not terrible. Now, in my opinion, Gemini 3 is definitely still better. You know, I think that Gemini 3's ability for front end user interface design is amazing right now. But I would say this wasn't a terrible first shot with uh, with Opus 4.5. So I'm gonna give it, you know, I don't know, maybe a six out of 10, whereas Gemini is like an eight out of 10. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. So um, definitely not the biggest fan of using Opus for front end design or really coding in general. It's not my personal favorite model. I'm usually either, either using Gemini 3 or GPT-5 or Sonnet 4.5 just for real quick you know, user interface designs, things like that. But that's it, guys. You know, I just, there's so many models coming out right now. In my opinion, you know, just pick the one right now that you're most comfortable with, the latest tier of whichever one, right? So you've got Anthropic, you've got Gemini, you've got Grok, and then you have uh, OpenAI with ChatGPT. And so whichever one you're the most comfortable with, the most up-to-date model, because they all came out with a new model in the past 10 days or so, is probably going to work well for you. So if you're a big Anthropic person, use Claude all the time, great. Claude Opus 4.5 is going to work great for you. But if you're a Gemini person, Gemini 3 is amazing. If you're a ChatGPT person, GPT 5.1 does a great job. So just pick the model that works best for you. Definitely use it. Get good with it. Get familiar with the best prompts to use and go out there and and get more efficient in your business and level things up. But in general, I would say Claude Opus 4.5, it's probably going to come out with some better use cases. But is it better than Gemini 3, better than GPT 5.1? That is subjective depending on what you use it for. So don't let anybody else freak you out with all of the hype. This is a good model and you don't have anything to worry about.